afternoon. It's really great to see a really big crowd here today, and uh, the show is looking better than ever. Congratulations to Judy and her team. Um, I'm really delighted to be here with Patrizia Moroso. She's one of my heroes <laughs> for a long time. Um, I'm just going to I'm not going to say very much today. She's got lots to say, and that's why you're here. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit of my own personal experience with Morozo. I've been going to the Milan Furniture Fair for over 20 years. And uh, as a journalist, the first place you go when you land at the Milan Furniture Fair is to the Morozo booth to see what amazing things they've created, to see the amazing um, display that they put on, and uh, to see really where the trends in furniture and design are heading. So it's, it's very special today that we have her here with us. Uh, she's come all the way from Udine in Italy to be here. And uh, she's going to tell you the story of Moroso and her involvement with the company. OK, thank you. Uh, so just two words. Uh, I am inside the company. I, I am the art director. And, and the, cover, the company was established in uh, 52, 1952, so 62 years now. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's really, for me, a long time. When I, I go back looking at the past, I have a sort of vertigo for what happens. And what also is the story of the family? Ah, one thing, my English is, you know, Her you have to forgive me a little it's bit. Perfect. Yeah, you know. Sometimes I, I forget the words. I, I will ask her to help me. Anyway, uh, the Moroso Company is a story of, of, of human beings, of people. It's a story that is a typical Italian story, a typical story after the Second War of young people that was established and making Italy again after the, the destruction. Our area in Italy was totally destroyed. And so this picture for me is very important. It's, it shows it's 1952 and my mother was 17 and my father was 21. And they, so young, decided to stay in Italy and make their own thing. They, ve they were very you know, young and poor, like everyone in Italy at that time. Uh, and a lot of friends went in that, uh, in that years in Canada. And they really were calling them, just saying, look, you have to come. Canada is fantastic. There are a lot of opportunities, possibilities. You have to come. And a lot of people from Friuli, is my region, uh, in Italy, came. And now they are part of the important Canadian right. society. And, and my father didn't know how to do, to manage that thing. And so he was not able to decide in one second. And so the legend in the family says that he put the coin, ta -ta, to decide. And the coin said, no, you have not to go, stay. And so they started, started a, a little company with all the young people around, friends, sisters, brothers, cousins. In the beginning, they were like eight people working. And for... So show us some of the yeah, pictures of them. For, for some people. years, for eight years, uh, they were doing, you know, the 50s, remember? this kind of thing. So happy, beautiful, funny things with a sort of uh, taste, American taste. Or they really loved America and right. what was the meat in that years of uh, American style. Yeah. Uh, but in eight, only eight years, they were able to build the real company like it is now. Uh, so they were very brave, courageous, and they risk a lot. That is the reason why now I'm here. And um, there is also another important thing. This group of people, they were really friends together, and they were spending a lot of time and playing and dancing, making music. And 
same people that were working in the night, they were making music and having fun together. That was that, for me, a very special beginning, because it, it is something that remains in the DNA of the company. So having human relations, happy relations, having fun, making their own work, their own profession. Everyone loves to do what they do in Moroso. So the, a, the people in this picture are still actually working in the company. Uh, some, of them, some of them, yes. Is, <laughs> Others are, uh, are gone for uh, retire. Some are retired. But for yes. instance, uh, the piano player is my uncle. And this, you will see the next pictures in, in the presentation, he is the one very important one that is realizing all the prototypes for all these incredible designers coming from all over the world and uh, is the, the the man very how to say appreciated and loved by Ronaldo, Patricia Piola and so on. This is a very short thing, but just to tell you the story, in the 70s and in the 60s, anyway, they were producing modern things, not, uh, n not things that came from the tradition or, or the, the craftsmen. So since the beginning, we were small, but industrial, a little in industry in Italy. And, and um, soon, in 68, for instance, this is, this is an, an image of my father on the, on the, the man left, with the white shirt. On the, yes, the white dress is my father. The other two people are now very famous, important architects and designers, Antonio Citterio and Paolo Nava. In that time, they were around 20, very young. They were still students of architecture, but they were passing by mm -hmm. us, and they started making things with us first, before to go and work with BNB, Flexum, and so on. So it shows the connection between Moroso the, as a company yeah. and architects and designers goes right back to the very beginning of the company. Yes, the, it's very important for me and for the company, the relation that we establish with the designers and with the people around us, mm -hmm. architects and, and consultants and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Antonio remained for many years as a, 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 the art director before right. me. Yeah. Antonio was the art director till the end of the 70s. Right. This is the moment when I enter in the company. I was 20 something, uh, was 80 86, 86. yes. Yeah. I started working in the company with this collection, with uh, Massimo Yosagini. This is Massimo Yosagini. Yeah. Was and important. these things, as you see, mm -hmm. have a, a big relation with the, with the comics, the, 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 the graphics that he was doing in, uh, in, his, uh, in, th in this mm -hmm. part of his work. He started a movement that was called Bollidism. Yes, Bollidism. And uh, kind of a retro <laughs> future sort yeah. of he was, idea. He was the leader of the movement and was also inspired by the American streamline, the Italian futurism. All that was inside the idea of, uh, how to say, velocità. Speed, speed, yeah. the the Motion. the line of speed, right. and everything was a little bit curved, and the new technologies finally allowed us to make things with the CNC machines right. and and bend the, the the pipes of metal in a mm -hmm. in a very different way with many radios together. Right. So it was the first time that was possible to do that with a machine. And this was radical even for Italy at the time. Yeah. It wasn't. Uh, you know, yes. it would have been totally crazy here, but it was radical even for there. Yes. That was the beginning of you it bringing was a funny, new ideas. Yes, and it was very strong. It was very yeah. famous in the United States, for instance. In the same years, he did also a disco, very famous in New York at that time. Mm. Uh, Bolido was the name. <laughs> 80, mm. I don't know, seven, something like. Okay, and that was the, the line. We, this is the family again in the mid 80s and so me, my brother, my father, my mother and also this is, was very, let's say, 
a typical Italian situation with a family mm -hmm. and um, in few years in Italy the, the situation changed. It was a big crisis also and many family companies closed mm -hmm. because the second generation was not interested in going on top. I was very happy to... to you, were, you were actually called in yeah. by your father? <laughs> Sorry? You were called by your father to yes. come and get involved in the family company when you were still in your 20s. Yes, I yeah. was called because uh, the problem was go on, close the company, right. because the moment was very yeah. difficult. Yeah. And, and so I entered in the company with other people at right. that moment. All of us were very young, yeah. and so we decided, okay, well, go on. My idea was the strategy is design, and so it was for that reason that I started working, for instance, with the first the first one was a friend. For me, it was right. very natural to work with a friend. But like my parents were working with friends, I was you also... You to work with Yes. Well, that is my mood. When you described that experience to me was how you, you know, you might have had a career in art was one of the things that you were thinking. <laughs> yes. But you were able to channel that, that creativity into the family company. So yes, that you yes, created I, a very... Yes, because my, my, my school was an art school and yeah. I, I suppose to be maybe to have a gallery of art or right. to be a critic yeah. in somewhere in a yes. museum or yeah. and instead that was the opportunity and that yeah. moment I remember very well I have to decide my life right. and I said okay I will do that uh, I'm happy and you went a hundred percent hundred and fifty percent into <laughs> yes this new direction and brought all your creativity with it yeah yeah, yes, because it's, it's, it's a word for me that is dense and very important in creativity, like right. other words. It's very parallel. For me, all the creative activities are anyway related with art or, right. uh, you know, art, design, music. Yes. Photography are all different kinds of expressions, yeah. but the same kind of uh, uh, sensation, emotion, mm -hmm. and, and 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 so probably for that thing, I choosing so making my personal. Um, uh, how to say uh, journey? No, no. Yes, my personal choose of who okay. will be with me in right. the, in the company. So I'm choosing the designers. I'm the art director. Right. I'm not doing anything. I'm never design anything. But I have the power <laughs> to choose who is working with me. Mm -hmm. And so, in a way, uh, who who is working for the Moroso company uh, basically is a special designer, a, a sort of, uh, um, you know, uh, the straddle, the double, art, yes. and design. Yes, he is kind of working in design, yes. but from but has an art, art kind yes. of uh, with an art uh, vision, or right. anyway, is taking a part of design that is very special, is research, mm -hmm. is going deep in something. Yeah, and I think that's something that you'll see in her presentation today. That there's really a, a thread through the the connections that you've made over the years that has continued to this day. So yes, tell us about, I'm interested tell us about in, in the borders, you yeah. know, what is extreme in design, yeah. but not because I want extreme, but because I think that looking at design from a little bit outside mm -hmm. is better. You right. can see the new, you can see the future, you can see what is changing. Mm -hmm. Because if you are too much inside, in the center of the thing, you don't see Anything. See you, you are just in the middle. Yeah. You, yeah. you cannot see from out what you yeah. are doing. Yeah. So this, for instance, is the second collection that we have done with a yeah. very important uh, Japanese designer that is Toshio Kikita mm -hmm. in the 80s. Toshiyuki he was very Kikita. famous because he was already working with Casina, for right. instance, uh, doing beautiful things, more yeah. conventional. But this was a secret in a way. He told me one day, I have, I have something that n nobody wants to, to realize because it's strange. Mm -hmm. I want to show you, it's my thesis when I was at school. Mm -hmm. And so this project belongs to 68, another great year, mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, I said, it, it's wonderful. And for him was a sort of archetype of all his work. Mm -hmm. It's called Saruyama, that means uh, monkey mountains, 
mountain, and uh, you, you see is uh, like a rock. In a Japanese culture, the rock is, the, is a sort of symbol of the beauty of nature, and um, is something that is outside the, the, the house, is in the garden. And you, from inside, inside there is a, a very simple geometry in a typical uh, Japanese house, tradition, and everything is out, because you have to, uh, how to say, uh, to look at the beauty from inside and see what is the difference. So nature and geometry is a beautiful relation. Right. And this is a sort of monument to that idea. It took me a little while when I first saw this image to see the man in it. Yeah. It, it, because it, he becomes so much part of the object as well. Yes, because it's not only a beautiful object, it also shows the function. Mm -hmm. So in the very beginning, when the monkeys were sitting, they were sitting on a rock. Right. And the people also, the ancient humans. And so the object shows that you have many possibilities to stay on a rock. It depends in which side, low, high, sitting, um, or meditating. You, you see the, there is a man here, because the picture is done in, 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 a, in an art installation in a museum in Paris, and the object was the main part of the art what installation. What year was this produced by Morozo? Was what, sorry? What year did this 88. go in? 1988. Yeah. So a long time ago. And it's actually still in the catalog. It's still, of course, it's still, it's still in produced. production. It's still a, a successful object. And it's a very important also object because it's a sort of ident identity with what we are. Mm -hmm. And, for instance, another famous designer that uh, with us was doing just one shop one collection that year only, but this was the what he was doing before. It's Mark this, Newson. It's very it. famous. Mark Newson's Lockheed Lounge. Yes, yeah. that was the famous piece of lounge furniture sold for the most yeah. money ever in the whole wide yeah. world. We we did the How collection with him in ninety three. Yeah. Right. Okay. And also these pieces were very famous, not not a lot because we sold a lot. Right. But they were in Many movies we find in many stories around. They were iconic of yes, that period, a lot. representing a kind of future yeah. sort of. Yeah, and this, of course, again, is still in production. I, I try to keep. Uh, uh -huh. If something is really selling nothing, nothing, okay. But I try to keep the memory of all. Yeah. The, 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 the things that we have done. And for instance, now the chair that was done in that year now is again uh, shown in our catalogs. Because anyway, it's a beautiful chair, right. it's very comfortable, and the shape is very new, it's very modern. It that still it, looks very it's not showing the, it's not, it's showing, not showing its age at all, I no. would say. Yeah. yeah. Another beautiful experience with Konstantin. Konstantin Kritschic, German, um, uh, was one of the new designers that I engaged for a sort of um, uh, celebration mm -hmm. in 2002, uh, because we, we had our 50th anniversary that mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And so instead to celebrate with the past, oh, what we have done and so on, uh, I celebrate with a collection of new things. So I call 50 new people. Uh, from fashion, from design, from they could be students or famous architects and so and so on. So 50 projects for the 50 anniversary. It was very nice, and 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 Constantine was one of them. The object in the museum in Paris, and finally Patricia. Patricia came in the company 2000, 2000. Yes, we start the very beginning of her career. Yes, in so the very beginning. Yes, she's now a she design now superstar. She's really yeah. a superstar. Yeah. Uh, Two thousand, she uh, we presented her in the fair, and uh, for her it was the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, she was already uh, experienced, but she was designing in, in, inside another studio with another name, like everyone when he's young. Right. Uh, but she was a little bit tired of that. And so 
ask me, please, I want to make my own studio. Can you help me? And our first meeting was very nice because I immediately understood that she was fantastic right. and she was the, per the right person, right moment for me. Yeah. Finally a girl. <laughs> Temperamentally you share something with her, like there, you both have a lot of warmth yeah. and <laughs> energy. Yes. So I can imagine that that very was good a, friends in this collaboration season. must yeah. have been a lot of fun also. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and this presented uh, here in a, in a picture done at the Biennale, the Giardini, right. yeah. the North Pavilion. That's the Nordic, the Nordic Scandinavian Pavilion, pavilion yeah. by Sver. Because it was very important, the place, you know, because the project was born in her mind in a trip that we have done together in Scandinavia. Right. And Fjord is Fjord, you know, Fjord, the sign is a, t a cat, like a Fjord in the, in the herd. Mm -hmm. But the, the real project comes from an idea. Mm -hmm. Why in this beautiful country, in Scandinavia, nobody is touching the old masters, that they, they were so beautiful, so perfect, but in the 50s, right. so please go on. Yeah. And she wanted to... So she to, reinvented yeah, that, that whole... She uh, reinvented the Schwann mm -hmm. chair mm -hmm. of Jacobsen, yeah. and she wanted to like to break the beauty, to break the yeah. symmetry. Yeah. She wants to show that the beauty could be also a, a broken object right. and destroy symmetry. Mm -hmm. And showing that, she has done a revolution for me. Right. And it's for that reason that, that this piece is still, is still so important right. in our collection. It's still one of the objects that we are selling more. It's almost become a symbol of a Moroso. Symbol, yes. Like it's like you say Moroso, no. okay, I'll love that. Right. Immediately. Like yeah. for Ron, you see the sofa, the, 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 the Victorian easy. album. Yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. is, um, is her way of working. Mm -hmm. She is a person with a, a, an incredible um, curiosity. Yes. And she see yeah. a lot of m many things together, yes. but she's able to, to do a synthesis in the end. Mm -hmm. And the synthesis is her own thing. Right. Also, if in that object, you can see what is right. the story behind, right. you know, here, of course, the relation with the Nordic right. uh, design of the 50s is clear, right. it's expressed, it's, it, she wanted, mm -hmm. but is something totally new. Mm -hmm. She breaks the symmetry, that is, wow, yeah. incredible She's thing. one of the rare designers who, who express in their designs emotion. Yeah. Like you can, yeah. that's part of her synthesis, she, she's able to project what she feels. Yes always is able to Pretty transform mm -hmm. something that for her was a big emotion. For instance, yeah. this stone was in the beginning. Uh, we went together in the Noguchi studio in, me, in New York, mm -hmm. and in the garden there are some stones, like here you can see our stones around. This is the Japanese pavilion at the Biennale in Venice. Mm -hmm. And we found the same kind of stones, stones that we yeah. found in New York. Right. And she saw the stone and she said, this stone is so beautiful. I have to transform in something. Yeah. And we did the stools. It's very interesting where designers get their inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Or this is a very pure, simple sofa that came in the in the uh, in that room of uh, the Nordic yeah. countries in a Spare perfect fame. way. It was like grown by, grown from the, from the floor. Or the same piece that we were talking before, putting in a, in a scarpa garden, and you know, in Italy, scarpa, especially in Venice, this is, is this the- Carlo Scarpa? Yes. She's talking about. Carlo Scarpa. Yeah. Uh, was a, 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 gra a great, important master for everyone in Italy. Mm -hmm. And he, his work is so, important, so delicate, because is how architecture could be eaten by nature and became, in that way, mm -hmm. the most beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And he always intended architecture with nature together. Right. When the he, two he things and are... Alto are soulmates. Yes. Carlos Garpe and yes. Alvaro Alto. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. For sure. And so that chair, of course, was the perfect object to put right. there. Mm -hmm. 
and we have this great opportunity. We, are, we were so happy to be able to make the pictures of the catalog in the Biennale. And then other things. With Patricia, we discover also the important uh, the important, no, the, the, the importance mm -hmm. of um, texture, the skin of the object. Yeah. So for us, the fabric, mm -hmm. and all the fabrics were part of the project. Mm -hmm. And we start working also with the consulting, Giulio mm -hmm. Ridolfo, um, that is part of our company, mm -hmm. that developed for her what she was wondering or what she was looking mm -hmm. for. So we create usually, also the fabric with the right. project of the sofa or the chair. I just want to um, mention something that, that uh, for, the, for those who haven't seen the exhibition of the Moroso um, products, that it's over in the corner over here, that you really do get a wonderful sense of the textures and the fabrics that are being used, many of them that were introduced by Patrizia. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it's part, always for Patricia, mm -hmm. fabric is part of the project. It's not just, okay, give me a white fabric. Never. No. Mm -hmm. We study a lot what has to be the fabric. And, you know, and, that. And color also. And color, color is of course. Hugely important. This is very joyful at mm -hmm. all, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but this, this is another shot of your own home. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the painting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or. Uh, the idea to go with the products mm -hmm. of Patricia in the museum to make pictures, mm -hmm. to show how could be the relation between design and art right. that is so difficult or yeah. better. If you are not, if you have not a good design piece, it dies in right. front of art right. because art is so strong. Yeah. And we show that our pieces, the Patricia objects, also other things in the museum, became part of the exhibition. Mm -hmm. And so is much, and it was used by the people in a perfect way. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> this is a fantastic picture. P Patricia invented uh, for her exhibition in Cologne one year, something that was out of any idea of product. So mm -hmm. an amok, an amok done with, uh, with a, a patch, a patchwork of pieces. Mm -hmm. So without having idea of a production, this object became in the future the, the first step of two products. Right. So you, so know, it was an you have never, you, you yeah. see the hammock that then became this is a, 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 an exhibition of prototypes transformed, into transformed a sofa. in a sofa. Right. Yes. And, and for, uh, for other reasons, the other, mm -hmm. so the, the, the patchwork was transformed in, in, the, in this piece that is a beautiful uh, object done with many, many circles, uh, sew each so other, so yeah. each other, uh, in, in a triangle. Mm -hmm. So with the triangle, you do many shapes. And in the end, it, it, it seems like flowers, but was just the result of a geometry. Mm -hmm. that, this product's called antibody, isn't it? Hmm? It's called antibody. An antibody. Antibody, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And you see, you can have it, mm -hmm. you know, if you use, instead of a plain color, something that is a mm -hmm. wonderful pattern. For instance, this is African fabric right. that I buy in Africa and take with me to make special things. And, and, and it's amazing the m multiplication that you have of the sense of color and the right. flowers. It's spectacular. Yeah, and with Patricia, always we are working, I said, on a 3D idea of surface. Mm -hmm. Like architecture, modern architecture right. is a lot about what is the surface of the building. Inside, okay, we, 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 we know that it's beautiful, but what is the outside? The outside is the communication tool of the building to talk with, with outside. Mm -hmm. And in design for her is the same thing. Right. So the surface, the surface has to be the motion. Mm -hmm. And so for that reason, we have done a lot of research in, in, in this. In the end, you can have fantastic, beautiful, and unique pieces because mm -hmm. everything is different. Mm -hmm. When you use a fabric or another, you have a totally different effect. Yes. You create a brand new piece depending yes. on how you yeah. combine the fabrics. Yes. Yeah. Or yeah. this is an example of how we have fun. You know, this was a, 
big uh, event, an exhibition that we have done for our 50th um, anniversary in Milano at Bicocca, right. okay? Yeah. And she wanted to build an animal, <laughs> a strange time machine, with all the pieces that are part of, of the industrial production. Right. So she came to us, we went in the warehouse, and said, I want two of these, one of these, and I want to create a, a, a butterfly or a sort of uh, mosca, what's it, it's a, a fly, fly, a yeah. fly. fly. And we have done a fly with all things that are coming from uh, so parts, cool. mm -hmm. parts of, of our products. It's her creative energy that you see yeah. often in Milano at the it, Moroso booth, that because she often does the, um, or at least the last few years, she's been doing the set, this, the, the our set design for yeah, the stands. Yeah, yes. yeah. She is, um, it's always, mind-blowing when you get there yeah. to see what she's created. She's yeah. very creative. <laughs> and again, another product that shows the relation with uh, something that belongs to fashion. So the the dots, the dots, sorry, the smock point. It's smock. Point. Yeah. smock. Yeah. Called smocking. Yeah. That was, we were now trying to make the first together. Mm -hmm. The research in colors are part, as you were saying before, mm -hmm. and with the same kind of idea of embroidery and making a mm -hmm. different surface, they have done also, Patricia and Julie have done also a project for B&W right. that was very important that year, yeah. But that yeah. then became um, a part of the, pro the next project right. of our, uh, with Redondo. She's very interested also in older processes, like yeah. smocking and yeah. kind of embroidery yes. and different kinds of tufting yes. and things yeah. like that, that yeah. processes that aren't so much mm. used anymore in modern yeah. manufacture that she's yeah. been able to modernize yeah. them and bring them back. Yeah, and just to move the surface and to add, add a layer a, another of interest kind of, to the products. Uh, very soft, soft and, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and different feminine. approach. It's yes. quite feminine very, in a certain yeah. way. Yeah. This, for instance, is a sort of study for a new kind of pink. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, this pink, we create the pink, mm -hmm. and we have done two years ago something pink. Now everything is pink around, but mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I remember when we proposed the pink things at the fair, it was yeah. a light shock, pink. It's kind of blush. <laughs> yes, yeah. blush. Yeah. Okay, and again, also for her, it's so important to look at the story of fashion and right. what you could use mm -hmm. and bring from one side and take in another in yeah. another way. It's, an important it's very skill intelligent for a designer to be able to translate. From yes, one, because it's not easy. It's not yeah. easy. You have to make yeah. your. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to bring something that belongs to someone else and mm -hmm. make it mm -hmm. deep, deeply make yours. Make it yours. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that, that is the masses, was really uh, an idea of an, a big overcoat or something like a big, a big dress, a very important dress for a sofa. And in the end, it's also here, everyone can see. Or yeah. this is, is part of the new stuff that we will uh, see next. Mm -hmm. uh, she was crazy for this collection of uh, uh, Comme des Garçons, right. <laughs> and so she said, I want to do something that remains that kind of contrast, right. and to have a sort of double, a double, uh, double dress mm -hmm. with two contrasting colors, and this is how things can be, be, be done and can... How it gets uh, translated add, yes. into a, yeah. an actual piece. Another, another fantastic person working with me uh, since many years, 2003 we started, and also having big relation with, with the fashion area brand is uh, Tor Bonche. And in, so in, that's Tor Bunge, as far as <laughs> Sorry, Bunge. I'm not sure that I can pronounce it properly, no, no. but uh, he's a Dutch It's designer. a Dutch name, yeah. but living in London since yeah. uh, the, the time of, of the, right. the school. Mm -hmm. And he was also till this, uh, the, the till uh, 2013, he was the, the design director of the um, uh, Royal College of Art. Mm -hmm. So, 
has a very important role in, in England. And he, he was also a very good friend of Alexander McQueen. Mm -hmm. And we have done a, a beautiful collaboration in that years, making the, mm -hmm. some dresses that were also, in this case, dressed by the girls and by the chairs. <laughs> We are we are studying the, so the exhibition. Many, many of you will be familiar with those lights that he did. He was the first to introduce you, you in just, in the world of design something that was a, a sort of uh, decorative, impossible. Yes, yes, very decorative. Decoration with yeah. flowers, uh -huh. a taboo, yeah. total taboo before yeah. 2003. Well, up until then, I think no one really thought of yeah. decoration like that as being as having any kind of a modern spirit. And he was able to produce something that. Yes. Felt modern, but was very decorative, but not Baroque. <laughs> no, but he, you know, he, he was using that in a very, very, how to say, romantic yeah. or gothic yeah. way. And gothic, I hate to say. Whimsical also, I yeah. would say. And, and here, you see what he had done with the dresses of Alexander McQueen on his chair. These are that romantic pieces, and we install in a force to make you know, the correct atmosphere. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. And also some mirrors, some curtains, many different, many little tables with incredible patterns. Ross is another one. Is a sitting on Ross's the, the chair. The designer of this chair mm -hmm. that for us is one of the biggest success in terms of number mm -hmm. of pieces that we, we are selling. And uh, we are, uh, to say, very happy to, to have this collaboration. This is Ross Lovegrove? Love, Ross Lovegrove, sorry, yes, from London. And he has another idea. Uh, design is, for him, essential, mm -hmm. Essenti essentiality. That yeah. is not minimalism. There yeah. was a big fight between minimalism and e essentialism. Mm -hmm. And for him, essential is that thing that has all the shapes that it needs to be done, mm -hmm. not necessarily straight, because nature is following this idea right. that nature is never growing with a geometry like a square, mm -hmm. never. And is following the idea that a, a, a good object could have a geometry that is a geometry, but it's a nature geometry, natural, yes. natural geometry yeah. that grows with a, a sort of uh, mm -hmm. a, a algorithm way, mm -hmm. where everything is that because is the essential to do that. Right. So the feeds are like uh, growing plants, and right. they are supporting yeah. and and makes the elasticity right. and everything is very thin when you need thin yeah. and the holes are because we need to uh, use less plastic and have right. a, a, a very light object mm -hmm. and is big like you need to to be big but the essential no more than no that. more than is necessary yeah. and he's very influenced by biology yes this is biological structure often to yes to and inspire and influence yeah. his work yes and of course he studied is very long uh, because it takes time to make all right. that. And we are, for instance, we are preparing, I hope to be ready this year, but we are starting a new chair with him since one year and a half. Wow, it's a and long time. Mm -hmm. Yes, long time. It needs a lot of tests. You have to, to see what material is the best material. It's long. But in the end, you have something so beautiful mm -hmm. because it's so uh, unique, mm -hmm. of course. Outside, inside. <laughs> or Tokujin Yoshioka is another great this, Japanese. This was a beautiful project that I had the good fortune to actually mm -hmm. see. He imagined a space yeah. and then a cloud in yeah. the space. But to do that, he was using millions of straws, oh, yeah. <laughs> plastic trans transfer The straws. object you're looking at is constructed all yeah. of, of uh, straws yeah. that were all hand placed to create this incredible yes. wall. 15 days to build the, the yeah. wall. 
millions. Yeah, I don't know how many million straws were put into it. Millions. It was, I know two trucks. I don't know. They told me the, the, the number is kilometers. I don't know, like 40 kilometers or more, something anyway, like that. Anyway, many, crazy number. many, many yeah, straws. Yeah. Was but beautiful. the effect was incredible. He's a, a sort of, he's a designer, but he's also a, a great scenographer mm -hmm. for me. And he's always imagining the space for the, the products that right. he, he, we presented. We have done more than this, I show just one. But every time we have, uh, prepare a show with him, was in a perfect, mm -hmm. perfect atmosphere, invented, also with very, you know, the source are very cheap. It's not a, a precious no, it's material. Not an expensive material. There are many, but, but very cheap. But days and days of and work to, yes, to produce Yes, and the it. work was um, really amazing. It, and, and who saw the, 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 the event, yeah. never forget. No, it was unforgettable. Too. Yes, or in another case, using a material like aluminum mm -hmm. uh, to make a, a different every time chair. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a cover that is a, 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 a fabric done with aluminum sheet and and, yeah. and cotton. And it's a very, uh, to say, special material. It's a material for. Um, it's like a um, insulating material. That the material I believe that he used for, for architecture for yeah. buildings. It's used yeah. for in using for to in cover structures. It's used for insulation. Yeah. And there's an actual hard shell chair underneath that. But every time you place it, it changes its shape. Yes, because the shape uh, is, is memory. You, you yeah. move and it stays. Yeah. And so you can build your own chair, your own throne. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful project. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. And other fantastic designers are that from the girls from Sweden. Also for them, research is very important. And also with them, we have done things and some things are never uh, were never produced put yeah. in production yeah. but in any way they are for us a very important point right and they are using photography for instance to make the picture of something uh, we we put the picture in a fabric as a as a pattern of the fabric right. but that pattern shows the object so right. you use the fabric uh, with the picture of the object to make the object. She made a sofa that had the picture of wood on yes. it, except for it was soft. I for remember instance. that they did. Yeah. Yes. In this yeah. case, yeah. You, you see the little model yeah. and then the big size. And the idea was to, to have a chair with the idea of flying pillows. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the picture is, and this is not the, it's not a, a rendering. It's not a rendering. This, this is, is the real picture photo. of a sofa and, and, the, and the carpet. And the carpet. Yeah. Flowing things. Yeah or working with a very standard thing, common thing like the taxi. Taxi seat. Yes, giving them another idea of uh, comfort and beauty. Mm -hmm. That. Mm -hmm. In this moment, we are working on another thing that is an embroidery sofa. Mm -hmm. And the embroidery is a part of sketches that they were doing Doodles, mm -hmm. you call them? Doodles. Doodles, yes, yes doodles. Yeah. So we use the doodles that they do when they are meeting yeah. to make the embroidery of, uh, of the sofa. And Nendo, Nendo is yeah. another designer. So In this case, a very, very rare picture because was for three months was blonde. So yeah. <laughs> we got so it. So Nen Nendo was here last year, for those of you who were, yeah. who were here, but you didn't see him with blonde hair. <laughs> And, and we, we, um, we are doing things, and uh, we start from this object with an incredible... Uh, woven? woven? Woven leather? Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. But we have, have done many, how to say, objects, little things. Mm -hmm. we are, but we are studying also the possibility of a new sofa with him. is in, mm -hmm. in work in progress. Mm -hmm. Or the couple from London, Nipa mm -hmm. and Jonathan, mm -hmm. uh, Doshi Levin, mm -hmm. and they also were here some years ago. Yes. Yeah. And Three they or four are years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they are also carrying something different. They are a couple of Indian and English, and right. they have done something that is uh, just uh, already cultural, a beautiful a cultural, cultural culture. marriage. Yes, as well is as a, a, a perfect cultural yeah. mixture Personal marriage. of different, many different things together. Uh -huh. 
And so they already have done something that I love to do in my collection, mm -hmm. to mix, to mix different things. things. Yeah. 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 And with them, we started from a, an object like these that were pillows and some These are day mattresses. beds that you're looking yeah. at from the t top down to the yes. patterns on them. Um, they have a very special grace in designing. Mm -hmm. And uh, from them, I, I learned, uh, how to say, the beauty of uh, the detail. Right. They love the fantastic detail that you can find in, the, in an Indian object always because it's done by hand with a, an incredible uh, cap capability and that is what they love. Uh, my beautiful backside, for instance, was a, a sort of story of beauty that we printed on the back of the sofa. That was the slide before this was. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Um, well, that's maybe. A, that's it uh, sorry, also. this one. Yeah, but you, you don't see, it see the back. You I'm don't see sorry. the back. But the name of the sofa is yeah. my beautiful backside. Yes. yes. Which is cute. But this is a detail of a back. Yeah. When you know the writing on, on the back are symbols. So like. Morosa, yeah. love, Doshi yeah. with only the symbols. It's like a little message on the back of an envelope. Yes, that. <laughs> it's really nice. And the detail that they they love also yeah. for dresses. Uh, sartorial detail. Sartorial. Mm -hmm. And for instance, this was the beginning of the study of a print on leather that they wanted for the Chandigarh mm -hmm. collection. Mm -hmm. Chandigarh, you know, is the city done by Le Corbusier in right. India. And, and they know that city very well. So they take a picture one day to the building, the, the, the government building of the city that has this square, very, very... Pattern. Yes, and then we print the re reproduction of that um, picture on leather mm -hmm. to have... A, uh, she is here showing as her bag, she want to have the, the, the leather for the, for the sofa. Mm -hmm. And so this is in the end. Mm -hmm. And so we print the leather with the windows of the building in Chandigarh and the symbol of the, the city. This is a, mm -hmm. a green hand that say, welcome. On the side. Another one. Uh, this Alfredo is from Zurich. Alfredo and Haberly. Haberly. Yes, yeah, sorry, Haberly. Mm -hmm. And we have done, he is a funny guy, very, mm -hmm. uh, very nice and very, um, he, he's a great designer for, for many things. He's designing a lot of uh, objects and so on. And with us mainly, we have done many things, but this is the most important object. This and chair is called Take a Line for a Take Walk. Take a Line for a Walk. Which is was which part is of the same yeah. 50 anniversary project. Right. And then which we transform the idea line. idea of following a line completely and yes. completing the chair with just yes. one line. And, it was, uh, yeah. Yeah. and, and it's uh, also influenced by Arne Jakobsen, this chair. By yes, the, yes. A sort of use of the dress <laughs> for him yeah. and the chair. And we use a, a lot this chair, for instance, in, in, in um, interiors like hotels and places. Hotel lobby. Yeah, perfect, hotel lobbies, yeah. yeah. You this one is, a, is yeah. a very special hotel mm -hmm. done by him in Zurich, 25 mm -hmm. hours hotel. And very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Also, Patricia is doing a lot of hotels with her things. Another designer, maybe one of the last, and that shows how pattern is also very important to him. And he comes from um, uh, uh, Holland, and Holland, you know, is the country of a, a, a lot of research in design, very free place to create. And is um, is loving. Uh, traveling, mm -hmm. and and so the collection that is a uh, uh, um, sushi collection. Mm -hmm. uh, so use the fish, the the the, the, the idea of fish yeah. <laughs> as a, a sort of symbol that he put everywhere. Ah, as I was saying before, this is part of the diesel collection. So mm -hmm. things that have a relation with the brand of diesel and the the mood of, of them. Very free, very large, very informal 
objects and related with idea of uh, music, with um, sort of houses that are done in a different way. Another important part of, uh, and now we are, we are, we're, oh yes, we're we are ending just a few slides, but very important for me mm -hmm. is the relation with art. And so these, like uh, a few, few words on that. Um, since the 2003, I try to make, to work with important artists also, uh, artists that are interested to work with design. Right. So there is a mutual exchange. For instance, this is Michael Lin. He's a, a Chinese artist from Taiwan, mm -hmm. and he was living in that moment in Paris, and he has done a beautiful installation that is the end of the, the work in our uh, showroom in Milano. Mm -hmm. But their relation was very strong, very special, and in the end, what remains to us is a sort of memory that we, we transform in a fabric, and the fabric is on our, on our possible... So uh, Moroso does these exhibitions with artists and then as a kind of a, something a, something emerges from that experience, it comes into yes. something like a fabric. So every time, for the new if collection. you want, yeah. you can have a chair like the Fjord mm -hmm. done in the same way yeah. uh, that was done uh, for the, the art installation. So this kind of answers a question yeah. about how a company like yours stays at such mm -hmm. a level of creativity, mm -hmm. like the Mm. Clearly, like the research is done in actual collaborations with yeah. other people, and then those collaborations lead to new ideas that and new things, new always. things that, that, and that's why it's always so amazing to go see what Moroso has just done. This is uh, Tobias Reberger, is a very important German artist. artist, and with him also in 2006 we have done very special installation, dark, like in a in a in a in a game. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know the games, uh, the, the, the games like that are... Like video game? Video game, right. yes. Like a sort of video game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or the artists that came from Africa, mm -hmm. and when we present Mafrik, is a collection that we have still in production, but we present this collection with a, a number of artists. Mm -hmm. They were painters, uh, sculptors, mm -hmm. photographers, architects, everyone showing that from Africa, mm -hmm. Uh, come a lot of energy, a lot of um, important items, and very new also. Um, this was the the, 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 the showroom, uh, how it was for the installation. And so, objects plus art plus other things. And um, for instance, the architect was uh, David Ajay. In right. that year, not so famous, now is so famous, he's working with uh, uh, the government in, in the United States, he's, he's making museums in, in Washington, everywhere, he's very famous, and he's African. He just went in London to study when he was uh, 15, right, yeah. uh, totally African. Another kind of an art, another art installation with two young Italian artists that are, were, by the way, living in Montreal, and um, Francesco Simetti, Andrea Sala. From that experience, also, what remains a fabric that was telling is telling for us that experience, mm -hmm. and Martino Gamper. I, I show Martino because he's what we will have in, in Milano this right. year as a new is, as a new exhibition up. in the yeah. showroom and but we uh, we have done uh, the first step with him some uh, uh, one year ago right. uh, as a, a winner of a Moroso award for contemporary art that we have also um, and he was one of the winners he came to us to visit the, the company and he decided to choose in the number of of the many molds that we have in the factory, he chose some pieces that he loved. And he wanted to create something new, like, um, you know, a DJ, uh, when he's making his new success with uh, music of someone else. Sampling. That, yes. Yeah. Uh, that someone else could be a very old song or a new song. And right. he bring a sample and make a remix, and make a new something, and very special. And so Martino is doing something like that. So look at the pieces, he chose some pieces. 
he cut them in the middle, like you see here, and then create some couples of objects. Very different, as you can see. But his work was not finished. That is just so the these beginning. These are the actual molds that the furniture is yeah. made from that he's yeah. working with here? Everything was just yeah. molded. are uh, industrial pieces that we are normally producing. Right. He cut in the middle some, and they, he creates a couple. But then he also creates what comes from one piece to the other. The transition. The transition, one piece and the, the other. morphing. Yeah. And, um, and w what happens in the end is that many pieces that we create, we see just the form right. um, of the prototypes, are what happens from a shape to another shape, mm -hmm. giving a sort of new soul of the, on these new bodies. And not yet satisfied, he wanted to make a patchwork also of the fabric. So asking me to give him all the waste of the production. And he cut it and sewed together many things, creating a new patchwork. To do that, for instance, that so for me really, is, is really a beautiful <laughs> object. And also the and a Alfredo real piece of art. Yes, well. it's a piece of art. It's a unique yeah. piece, but Alfredo, uh, Aberly and Patricia Urquiola love it they a lot. It, yeah. and, so, and they say, okay, fantastic, <laughs> produce it. It's not about, you know, what, what, what they, they don't feel like um, stolen by yeah, him, you know, but instead more, uh, they feel like a, a new life. So what happens when you have to deal with the royalties, though? Does it, you have ah, to put it three we ways? We have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So. And, you know, these are the other objects of the collection. Yeah, they're pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, everything is working with uh, two things or three things to very, They're very spirited. And, and this is the last image. Is uh, you remember my mother on the Vespa uh, in the beginning? And this is a very recent picture of them with Martino. They were very happy of the of that uh, work. Mm -hmm. And Martino is a sort of uh, new son for him now. Okay, thank you.